Welcome back to CBS This Morning. On this New Year's Day, we're looking back at some of our favorite stories of 2012. And one of our favorite guests was, well, one of my favorite people. Oprah Winfrey was here last April to take part in our Note to Self series, where people give advice to their younger self. Here's a look. Dear beautiful brown skinned girl, and I use the word beautiful because I know that's never a word you would call yourself. I look into your eyes and I see the light and hope of myself. In this photo, you're just about to turn 20, posing outside the television station where you were recently hired as a reporter. You look calm, you look happy, but I know how scared you are. If I could say anything to you, it would be relax. It's gonna be okay, girl. You're proud of yourself With the reporter on the scene. for getting this job, but also uncertain uncertain that you'll be able to manage all of your college classes. We're standing by here. Uh, and work a full day's job doing the news. Blah, 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 blah. Even so, your biggest concern right now, how to manage your love life with Bubba. Yes, you are dating someone named Bubba. On this day, you have brought him to the station to see where you work hoping he'll be proud. He seems less than impressed. The truth is, he's intimidated. You don't know this, though, because you see yourself only through his eyes, a lesson you will have to learn again and again and again, to see yourself with your own eyes and to love yourself through your own heart. The people at Channel 13, like Oprah Winfrey and Richard Scher. You spent too many days and years trying to please other people. Are we vain? <laughs> and be what they wanted you to be. I understand how and why that happened now. You will have to learn that the wounds of your past, being raped at nine, molested from the time you were 10 through 14, getting whipped as a young girl, by people who said they loved you because you stepped out of place and not even being allowed to show any anger or crying afterwards. That damaged your self-esteem. If only now you knew how much. Yet through it all, you managed to hold on to a belief in God and even more importantly, God's belief in you. That, my dear, will be your single greatest gift, knowing that there is a power greater than yourself and trusting that force to guide you. The trajectory of your life changed the day you answered that call from Chris Clark. He was the news director at WLAC-TV. Your response was ignited by the words of your then favorite Bible verse. Remember Philippians 3.14 used to say it all the time. I am pressed to the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. Knowing there is a high calling is what will sustain and fulfill you. From where I sit now, viewing your journey, there really are very few regrets. That means a life well lived. I won't say goodbye. I'll just say, until we meet again. Even then, you understood that success was a process and that moving with the flow of life and not against it would be your greatest achievement. 
You have made me proud. Mm. Every time I see it, that even had Oprah crying. She said, who was the producer that put that together, Paige? Let me reach out to her. I thought it was so well done and told her story so well. I love the shot of her, her first TV job where she's looking. She does look very tentative. <laughs> yeah. So here she is, a senior in college, anchoring the 10 o'clock news, but she has a curfew to be home by 11 because she was living with her father at the time. You get off there at 10.30, you better be home by 11. So. She's come quite a far. She's she's come a long way. She has. I love how she said, few regrets means a life well, well lived. lived. And I'm struck in how many times when we do these note to selves yep. that people say want to say to their younger self, um, don't sweat it. Yes. Be more confident. Relax. Relax. You know, that's the that's the experience, you know, of, of look, talking back to your younger self. I'm struck by the fact that in telling it, a story that you and I have heard yes. a number of times. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like she's telling it for the first time. Yes. That she's living it for the first time, I know. which is amazing. Charlie, it's quality. so funny you should say that, because she felt that, too, after she looked at it. She goes, boy, I've had quite a life, haven't I? I go, you're the one that told the story. Yeah, so I know what you mean. Yeah.